So, Fremont, you graduate from Fremont High School. What drew you to Hope College? What you love about institutions like Hope is that you're influenced by so many uh, people who you grow to love and respect, and that was certainly true for me, not only uh, in the classroom, but also in, in athletics. These were people who shaped and nurtured my life. Did you ever imagine you'd be a college president? When did that even begin to be on your radar screen? Yeah, that's a question I haven't thought much about, really. I think, as I mentioned before, I you know, every job I've held, I've been really happy. Yeah. And so it wasn't that I was looking for something else, necessarily. I think I would have been very content to to be a high school chemistry teacher. Yeah. Yeah. But one thing led to another. The opportunity at Northwestern was uh, really a, a good one for, for us. It was a difficult move because we loved Hope so much and right. we're happy here. But I had really prepared myself academically to be a, a educational leader and had some wonderful experiences at Hope and other places. And so this seemed like a, a fairly natural move. Mm -hmm. And of course, coming back to Hope, uh, being president of your alma mater yeah. is something very special that we don't take for granted. Yeah. Uh, most every day I pinch myself and say, Yes, there are difficult decisions to make and so forth, but this is a real privilege to be the president of Hope College. What would you tell a parent who's saying, hey, Jim, I'm giving you my most precious gift, my son or daughter. What would you tell them? Well, how would you say this is what Hope could offer to them too? I think I would answer that by sharing with you a letter hmm. that I received from a parent. This was my, I think, my most prized letter mm. over time. And it was also the shortest. Mm. And it said, uh, Dear Jim, you promised us you'd take good care of our daughter, and you did. Uh, Thank you. Wow. That's and, kind of the highest praise. And that meant, yeah. I think, for me, taking care uh, academically, spiritually, and socially. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that, that I really love about Hope, and one of my passions, of course, that you're well aware of, is yeah. that I, I wanted Hope to be able to say, yes, we can play in the big leagues academically, and at the same time, we can play in the big leagues spiritually. And not just one or the other, like most places, but both and. And that can Hope be a place where, in a way that's dynamic and vibrant, be a place where a student can grow their Christian faith even as they grow uh, intellectually. And Hope is such a place. I'm very proud of Hope for this. Yes. You'd say you're a little competitive, wouldn't you? I'm a balance. I'm, I'm pretty competitive, yes. <laughs> I, I love to win. I especially like to defeat Calvin, <laughs> and especially because they're such a worthy opponent. They are. Uh, you know, it's not much fun to uh, to beat teams that you don't respect. Exactly. And Calvin is one we really respect, and so I'm sure they feel the same way about us. This is a great rivalry, one of the yeah. greatest rivalries in the country and perhaps in the history of sport. Yeah. I would just say one other thing, Paul. I, I have the opportunity to serve as the chair of the Division Three President's Council, and I can tell you without a doubt that Hope and Calvin have the utmost respect from the other 450 schools in this division. And I think that respect comes not only from fielding great teams in sport, but also the way we do it. Mm. By keeping it in perspective, to doing it fairly, to abide by the rules, and to provide a great experience for the young women and men who attend our schools. You bet. So with that, back to the game. And can we say it? Go hope. Go hope. <laughs>